guy's tank! Is that real? It was a gift to my grandfather from Stalin. In my country, it's pronounced Stallone. Sorry, Seth Rogen and James Franco. The interview was scheduled to be released December 25th, 2014. In the film, Seth and James play two soft news journalists who are invited to North Korea to interview the DPRK Supreme Leader, Kim Jong-un. However, there is a catch. The CIA would love it if you could take him out. Hmm? Take him out. For coffee? Dinner. For uh, kimchi? No, uh, take him out. You want us to kill the leader of North Korea? Yes. What? Unfortunately, not everyone took the satirical comedy lightly. During the promotion of the film, Sony Pictures was hacked and threatened on December 16th against any showings of the interview, claiming that consequences would be similar to those of 9-11. The hacker group responsible has been identified as a group by the name of GOP, which stands for Guardians of the Peace. Although the DPRK seems responsible for these actions, they deny all allegations against them and take absolutely no responsibility for the actions done against Sony Pictures Entertainment. The FBI, however, has released that the DPRK is indeed responsible for these actions. The incident has definitely gotten the attention of the US government and President Barack Obama responded with this. We will respond. Uh, we will respond proportionally and we'll respond uh, in a place and time uh, and manner that we choose. Uh, it's not something that I will announce uh, here today at a press conference. The U.S. has recently placed sanctions on 10 North Korean government officials and three North Korean organizations, one of which is the North's main intelligence agency, which is said to be the source of North Korea's cyber operations. The interview is an example of how interconnected our world is and how one little satirical movie can cause a long, serious chain of events in our world. Many large movie theaters have refused to show the interview due to the threat, but it will continue to show in select theaters. And one can also purchase the interview on YouTube, Amazon, and Google Play. This is Chris Reyes reporting for Jaguar News. Thank you.